So today I'm talking a little bit about EMF, electromagnetic frequencies. Those are the little artificial waves coming off of all of our devices and cell phone towers. And um, uh, we know from the scientific literature that it does affect human health. So I want to, I have a meter here just so, you know, you could get a visual because it's hard to imagine what's invisible, right? You can't see the little waves in the air, therefore it feels not real. So this can help make it seem more real. Uh, this is called the Safe and Sound. So it has um, four settings here. If it's flash, if it's green or flashing green, you're only getting a slight amount. That's where you want it to be. Yellow is moderate. Red is high. Um, dark red is extreme. And then if it's flashing, it's really extreme. So anyway, in my office here, we're close to a lot of cell phone towers in our neighborhood. I can't really ever get it to green, but I can at least have it in yellow if a lot of these devices are turned off. But I wanted you to see what happens. Uh, so for right now, I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi on this laptop. I had it on airplane mode. So you're gonna pretty quickly see that it goes up to high. And you know, I'm, if I'm sitting in front of this all day with the Wi-Fi going, I increased my radiation exposure from moderate to high. And the closer I come to it, the more you see that it's really extreme. It's dark red, it's flashing red. Um, but if you're working in front of a Wi-Fi enabled laptop and you've got your cell phone next to you, I wanted you to see what happens. First, I'm gonna put, take airplane mode off. You can hear more clicking. And then I'm gonna put the Bluetooth on. So I hope you can hear that and see that Bluetooth above anything else is an extremely high, high, extremely high level of radiation that you're getting. So try to keep any device around you off of Bluetooth. Watch what happens when I turn Bluetooth off. And now I'm gonna turn airplane mode off, uh, on my cell phone. Cell phones really have, cell phones and Apple watches have really the most radiation coming off of them, um, especially if Bluetooth is turned on. And now, now I'm gonna turn this back on airplane mode. So it got quieter and you can see um, how much that these devices really are affecting uh, that radiation affects your uh, oxidative stress, increases oxidative stress tremendously in your body. So we're gonna walk to the office next door and look at the Wi-Fi router. Um, I want you to see um, how high that gets as well. Right now I have it turned off, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in. It'll take it a minute to come back on, but you'll see in, in a couple of minutes here when it starts to emit, it takes it maybe a minute or two, um, that the closer you are to that Wi-Fi router, uh, the more extreme it is. While we're waiting for that to come up, uh, it's starting, it's waking up. Um, you can see the closer you are to windows. I don't know if you can see how the red light came on. Uh, most windows, you know, you'll get a lot more uh, radiation coming from the cell phone towers all around your neighborhood. Um, let's see if this router is kicking in yet. There it goes. So the closer you are to a router, yeah, that light went from yellow to green on that router the more extreme your radiation is. And the further you can move away from it, the less you'll have. So, you know, you don't want your child's bed or your bed right next to a Wi-Fi router or to, you can see the further we get away from it, uh, the less the radiation is. So, um, you know, we could do this with iPads, we could do this with cell phones, all of them will emit uh, radiation. So uh, to protect yourself um, the best that you can, 
You uh, will want to have your Wi-Fi router off at night when you're sleeping. And um, you'll want to keep the devices all around you on airplane mode and off of Bluetooth as much as you can.